Hi, this is Manish Sharma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we'll discuss Nifty and Bank Nifty, and we'll discuss the stocks as well for tomorrow's intraday trading session. So as I clearly told you in the last video as well, Nifty is trading in a triangle on daily charts. You can see here, and Nifty closed today exactly at the higher level of this triangle. Now traders are very much confused whether it is given a breakout or not. In such kind of situation, normally uh, Nifty will gap up and give the breakout, or gap down and give the breakdown. So higher chances it has closed at the top of the level breakout level only. So higher chances you may see tomorrow gap up possibilities are very high. So if any gap up, then higher chances it will continue and move up. Now if you see the entire fall, it has already touched 0.38% retracement. Now the next level is 0.50% retracement level, that is 9902. So the possible target may be somewhere around 9900 from here on. But it will not be a one-sided target. It will always give a dip. So use intraday dips to initiate a buy trade. So now you have to be a buyer in Nifty for a target of 9,600 and 9,900. Let's discuss the Bank Nifty today. Bank Nifty also, in fact, Bank Nifty is still trading in a triangle only. But Bank Nifty shown some strength today. In fact, if you see, Bank Nifty is up by 3%. Nifty is only up by 1%. So now Bank Nifty started outperforming. So I think Bank Nifty is also likely to give a triangle breakout, and my target for Bank Nifty is first target is 21,000 obviously, which is the triangle level, and next target somewhere around 22,000. So you have to be a buyer in Bank Nifty as well. First target is 21,000, second target is 22,000. Now let's discuss the stocks. First stock is Bajaj Finance. You can see here, Bajaj Finance. There is clean and clear morning star pattern. You can see here. There is clean and clear morning star pattern, and it has already broken a trend line as well. You can see here. If I draw a simple trend line here, it has already broken this. So it has already given a breakout today, and higher chances you may see a levels of 2,400, 2,500 in Bajaj Finance. So you may see another 7 to 8%, 10% kind of up move in Bajaj Finance. Look out for buy trade in Bajaj Finance. Second is Indusind Bank. Indusind Bank, you can see here. Quarter on quarter result was negative, but year on year result was positive. That was the reason uh, Indusin Bank went up today, 17% because year on year result was positive. And now you can see here, it is making a kind of a pattern here, right? And you can see here, this can be a breakout level. So higher chances, you may see levels of around 500 in uh, Indusin Bank very soon, very fast. So, Indusind Bank also also can be a very good buy candidate for tomorrow's intraday trading session. And last stock is PL. PL you can see here, Ramil Enterprise. This was the, you can see here, this was a fall. This was a retracement, and it has given a fall. But now you can see the prices have turned around here. Now prices have started turn around. So most likely it will break this level. Which is 990 level. Higher chances it will touch around 990 1000 levels. So Pyramid Enterprise can be a very good buy candidate for tomorrow's intraday trading session. I hope you are liking my videos. So kindly share this video with all of your friends, traders group, and my videos are helping you a lot. So kindly share this video and kindly like this video. Uh, this was the analysis for tomorrow's intraday trading session. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the video. See you in the next video.